Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to show my 52 flags handmade for April. There's actually five Fridays in April and I'm recording this on Thursday before the last Friday. So I'm just going to show the first four and then if I can get the fifth one done before I post this on Sunday night, then I'll put in a, a image of that. So the first one was opposite colors and circles. And so I picked purple and yellow. And I have here an old piece of my old quilt. And then just some fabric scraps and some embroidery floss. And a little bit of uh, pearl a cotton. And that is uh, number 13. And then number 14 was Mondrian and Satin Stitch. So I did actually look up uh, some Mondrian paintings online. I remember studying him in uh, college. And uh, so this is what I came up with, my Mondrian for number 14. And number 15 was uh, Easter Egg. I haven't sewn this onto the page yet. I decided to do rows of different flowers. I have tulips and daisies and uh, purple roses and blue forget-me-nots and something else. Just sort of made them up. It's very bright, festive. And then the fourth one, number 16, was Clothing. And I was trying to think of what I could use, and then I remembered a couple years ago I purchased a man's shirt at a rummage sale. And so this is the shirt that I purchased. I uh, like the colors. Blue and yellow is one of my favorite combinations. It's an Izod shirt. It has this um, secondary fabric on the yoke and the cuffs. And it happens to be a three extra large tall, so there's lots of fabric on this shirt. Quite a bit of fabric, probably a yard counting the front and the back. So I have a lot of that and the cuffs are um, quite wide. Two buttons on the cuffs and it also has the secondary fabric on the inside. So instead of um, doing it like Anne's example where she had it um, buttoned like this. I wanted to show the uh, secondary fabric, the lining fabric. So I folded it back. I took uh, this piece and I folded it back like that. And then with the, what I had left over I actually had this piece also. So I could do that, so I had to uh, decide. And I originally did it this way. I had them both this way. But then when I was laying it down, I laid it down this way, and I, I liked it like that. So I might keep it like that. So now I have this uh, lots of yellow and blue fabric here. So to show the whole page, this is my April page. Kind of clashes. The colors is nice and pastel. This is nice and pastel. This is very bright, very uh, primary colors. This is bright felt on the back with these all these colors here. And that's uh, April. And then I've been working on my cover. And I've added these little um, pieces are actually off a scarf I had. And I added some lace up here and here. I added the yo-yos here and here and here. And I added some hexagons over here. And I cut out this butterfly and applied him on there. And then I... Um, 
went to Joann's and Michael's and picked out some Pearl A cottons that I think will go really well with it. And so that's an update on the cover. An update on the uh, tag roulette. Another challenge by Ann Brooke. So this month uh, we were to add number 31 gold bling. So I added these vintage sequins and beads from my grandmother's sequin box. Number 35, three buttons. I added three buttons down the side. And number 10, a Suffolk puff. And so here's my Suffolk puff. So I wonder if I'll be able to get eight more months of embroidery on there. It's kind of small. So I wanted to show you my ort, what I found to use as my receptacle. And I had this in my pantry. Um, it has a regular uh, canning lid that goes on the top. And it fits like that and I could put things in it. But then, um, a couple years ago I was at Joann's and I found this. And it will fit inside a canning jar. And you screw it on, and it lights up. So I'll turn off my lights and see if we can see how this looks. Oh, it's real pretty. Like a little lantern with threads in it. I'm back and it's uh, two days later, it's Saturday, and so I was able to get um, the Friday flag done, the fifth Friday of the month, so tag number 17, and it was a uh, turkey stitch. I had to start a new page, and this will be my third page. So it came out a little wonky, I've never done turkey stitch before looks kind of like pom-poms. It reminds me of rug hooking. So I just uh, got this fabric with these swirls on it and I just followed the swirl pattern with different uh, colors to match. So that's my flag number 17 and that finishes April. So here's a final look at my flags for April. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Thanks for watching and have a great day stitching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.